Finally here at 6, join us as we spend some time in a most relaxing manner. Mike Stevens paints summer with a heavy brush in the PhotoLink library. Last time out, we incorrectly gave Joanne Matarese a new hometown. She actually lives in Forest City. This is what sunset looks like on a peaceful day at Secluded Acres Campground. So let's head down the road like Gretchen Batchinger did here in Middleburg and see what we find. Oops, before we do, I almost forgot. Some soft cake-like chocolate chip cookies from Angela Masco and Carbondale are here for a look. Can't pass those up. Nor can we pass up one final 4th of July salute. It's from Carol Elliott in Mount Cobb. A summer garden from Kathy Murphy in Galilee sets us off on the rest of our journey. One that takes us to flowers. Jim Legg of Gouldsboro makes no bones about it. The main ingredient for a perfect summer, he writes, is flower. Like this one. Garden glamour from Nancy to Catch, Dallas. Painted by Mother Nature from Becky Latona, Pittston. Hanging bells from Brian Cone, Gouldsboro. These days, you can find flowers almost everywhere. Mary Jo Kreischer found these in a koi pond. Not quite as wet, but pretty all the same. Summer flower after a shower from Paul Holmes in Scranton. Now how about some ruffled daylilies from Gretchen Oberst in Pine Grove? And maybe some summertime beauties sent in by Gail Goebel in Susquehanna. How about pretty and functional at the same time? Doreen Lazarovich of Shikshini showed us a pumpkin blossom getting ready for fall. When nature wants color, nature gets color. In the blossoms of summer, in the sky overhead. Kim Allen of Jessup sent us this. We send you best wishes for a good day. Oh, and don't forget to take your camera along. You never know. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.